also it would seem. Hey, so my... Hello everyone, my last sentence got cut off at the end of the video from part zero of this game. Greetings and salutations once again, this is Nate the Great playing Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, or Re-Reckoning in this case, with my newly created Losofar, or Light Elf, female, Elmira Sill. Yeah, Elmira. I had to I had to think about that for a second cuz I'm not used to playing a f a new character in this game and usually I play a male in this game. So this is my first female character. So the way this game works is Ooh, let me, let me show you real quick. So when you get out of this place, the Well of Souls turn right now, you have to go and there's Oh, it's a nice looking map. That's that's from the new uh, Fate Sworn DLC that came out. So pretty much, you start here, and you go from location to location to location depending on what quest you're doing. But you start right here in Alistar in Alistar Tower, in the area in the uh, region of Dalantarth. And throughout the game, you have to make it all the way. Oh, I forgot I could do that down here to the city of Bale in the region of Alabastra so it, it's a lengthy game and there are side quests that stop you at every step of the way and yada 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 it's a basic adventure game and then you got one two oh yeah and then you got three maps that are associated with the DLCs the legend of dead kill the teeth of Naros and fate swarm So yeah, now this one I'm really looking forward to playing at some point. I have not played this DLC yet, so I'm, I'm in for a treat when I get to that point. We all are. <clears throat> so, as you can see, this is your inventory. You can figure out your quests, your abilities, your destinies. I will clarify more on this when we get further along to the game. So, you saw the tutorial. You, you get to create your own character. After you've created... After you've created your own character, you end up in this pile of, uh, oh, moving corpses. But then afterwards, you find yourself down here. So the first thing we have to do is get the fudge out of this tower. So let's get to it. And as you can see, it's also falling apart around you. We get a quest update. Here too. A quest log, I should say. Yeah, a quest update for the quest log. Way up. Find a way out. Did I just say up? Jeez. I woke up in a pile of corpses somewhere deep underground. I have no memory of who I am and no clue where I am. I need to find a way out of here. So it's not like the it's not like with Elder Scrolls games where you wake up and you discover that oh, you've ended up where you shouldn't be. And then, that's that. You make up your own story, and you go from there. Here, you actually don't know who you are. You lost your memory. You have amnesia, pretty much. And, oh yeah, I forgot that's what this does. I'm not going to read these notes just for the sake of time. But if you guys want, I will stop it so that you can... Not stop it. But I will give you guys a few seconds when I look at them, so that you can stop it. So you can actually see what the video is. Wow, sorry guys, I'm tired tonight, I'm not thinking straight, and I'm getting over a cold too, so, I'm not fully thinking straight. It's, uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. So you can pause the video and see what the letters and books say. Christ, I swear, it's hard to talk sometimes. <laughs> You've acquired new items. To see your new items, press options. Well, the start button. The inventory section of your pause menu contains new items. Try accessing accessing it now. If the inventory contains all new, all the items you are carrying, your newly acquired long sword is listed under weapons. Select weapons to choose where to equip it. So you have a primary and secondary weapon slot. Obviously, your primary weapon is your main weapon you use. Your secondary is your alternate one. So, we'll go, since the rusty longsword is our only weapon, we are picking that as our primary weapon. <laughs> Just congratulates you for a little shit. Like, okay, you equipped your first weapon. 
And the same thing goes with jewelry and armor. You can select that at any time. Just equip it and... Yeah, you're set. children of dust scatter before the might of the Tuatha alright those are gnomes that were being attacked by these Tuatha and they're in danger oh especially when you're low on money guys if you need it break these crates Every chance you get, you won't always get any. You won't always get money from them. Occasionally, you get something. Sometimes you don't. But you also get an achievement. Where you also get an achievement from that. So it pays to want to do that. You get richer and you get a possible trophy out of it, or achievement, whatever you want to call it, depending on what you're playing. All right. So you press square to attack, and this is with the primary weapon, at least for the PlayStation users. Still trying to get it. Ah, there you go. See, you get a bit of gold from that. But it's random. You don't. Sometimes you get it. Sometimes you don't. It's. It's weird how. Well, no, it's not weird. It's kind of genius how it works. Keeps you guessing. Now we get a closer look at our enemies. Dodge. Move L in the direction you want to go and press circle. Right, I forgot dodging is a thing in this game. You can also kind of back these, you can also back your enemies into a corner too, it's, it's hilarious. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, if you hadn't come along that way, I've seen you before. On the slab, you, you were dead. It worked. By the dome it worked. You're alive. And then, of course, you got dialogue options. Because you can't have a fantasy adventure game like this without having the option to be sympathetic, curious, or an outright jack-off. <laughs> what happened to me? Uh, well, uh, you died. I don't know how or even where. But your body was remade in the Well of Souls, and somehow it worked. The well restored Ooh. your soul to your body, and it worked! We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. We also need to get me out of these frickin' garments. Wardrobe malfunction. One little area, but still, it's like, oof. Who are these attackers? Oh, I, you don't know? Perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tawatha Deo. The enemies of all the young races. We've never seen them this far inland. Not even during the invasion. I don't know why they are here. Hughes may have the answer to that as well. You must stay alive and reach him. I have some questions myself. Oh, no doubt, but we must get to Hughes. He'll be in his study on the ground floor. The Tuatha are coming in through the lower <coughs> levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now let's get going. And for those of you who are probably asking, yes, that is the voice of Jim Cummings. He plays several characters in this game, including the infamous King, now King Gadflow. It's a... Uh, <laughs> The man's a good actor. He really is. Oh my. You don't know? Perhaps the process damaged your memory. We've never seen it this far inland. 
You know, actually, I'm, I'm not even going to do this stuff. It's I've, I've done all this before. I don't need to. Basically, it just goes into very, very brief detail. Bits of information that you need for... Well... Really, for anything. In this case, it's for attackers. In this case, it's your death. The Wall of Souls. Like, all that stuff. And it's not just for this quest. It's for other quests. But the ones in blue... All the ones you really want to focus on. Your effort on. If you want to listen to the, these other ones, that's your guys' choice too. I've already listened to them, and trust me, most of them not worth your time. Again, up to you. He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least I hope he's there and safe. First, we're going to loot. Let me get this going. Right. This way. And you go first. Not until I loot. Crazy guy. Ah, here we go. I mentioned a wardrobe malfunction. I get a nice suit of armor to replace it. There we go. Look a little more decent now. Break more of the boxes. Skadoosh. <laughs> oh, that actually looked like a box for a second. Oof. Weird contraption. Alright. Let's roll, Ensel. This is what they're after. Our greatest invention. The well of souls. Imagine an end to war. An end to death. Blew it up. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I I heard that from a one of the Saints Row games a long time ago. It's, Troy Baker does that. Oh. Whoops. First I heard that. Troy Baker does that impression a lot better, but still I couldn't help but resist saying that myself. It's <laughs> it's this is funny. Oh shoot, I just realized I forgot to set a timer. Ugh, I, I gotta make that a habit when I do these, more of these videos. What the... I cannot upload. What? what? I'll have to take a look at that in a bit. It better upload. I didn't just go through all that for nothing. Now I have a shield. More, to offer. More battle hardened this time. You can also parry too. There's, there's a few things you can do in this game. Tell me how to live my life, Ensel. I already died, and you think you can order me around? Shut your trap. <laughs> All right, we got a bow, which will be okay for right now. This is where we equip our new weapon as a secondary. Now the character I'm going to make it's um. It's not a warrior, it's not a mage, it's not a rogue. I mean, it is. But it's a combination of all three. A jack-of-all-trades character, if you will. Ooh. What did I just say about telling me how to live my life, man? <laughs> 
I guess he just wants to get out of here, but sheesh. There's this little thing called decency? Patience? Maybe you've heard of it? <laughs> oh, now it shows with the range shot. I keep doing that. So on a separate note, how is everyone's Thanksgiving? For those of you that celebrate, that is. You eat lots of turkey, lots of ham, mac and cheese, cranberry sauce, or something else good. As for your families, hope they didn't all drive you too crazy. I know how that can be sometimes. Not fun. Tigers are deadly if you catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more than makes up for their size. Yeah, we'll use the daggers instead of the rusty sword. Now notice for each weapon it tells you certain speeds too. So if average speed is for a long sword. The daggers that I just acquired? Ooh, yeah, use these actually. Very fast speed. So the way it works for the weapons in this game is you have very fast speed, fast speed, average speed, slow speed, and very slow speed. This goes for all the weapons in the game. You got slow weapons like hammers and staves, great swords. And the opposite is true for daggers, and there's another weapon called Fey Blades in this game, too, which I haven't really used a whole lot with my last character, but I tend to use with this one. Can I need to grab it fills up and... Okay, the guy fills up, you will be noticed. Fessing on the stealth skill will allow you to get closer to enemies without being detected. You can also do moves like this. You can become your own assassin if you want. Now we can't get them both. But I can take one of them out before the other one is alerted. Bob's your uncle! <laughs> oh, I was way off there. Like him. Shows what I know. It's even lock pickings in this game too. Ah. Blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems. Oh yeah. This so they introduce you to magic. Hold R2 to access your abilities, then press square to use your storm bolt ability, which they automatically give you at the beginning of the game. Incredible. What are you? <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> nah, no, 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 I'm not. I can't say that. Shame what happened to any of you guys hear about this? What happened to Kevin Conroy? Damn shame what happened to him. It's sad, really. The voice of Batman passed away. It's. I mean, I know he wasn't getting any younger, but still, it's like. We've already had enough well known celebrities pass this year. I mean, even Betty White of all people. Like, come on. Why you gotta take Kevin Conroy from us now? And don't even get me started on uh, Kazuki Takahashi. The Yu-Gi-Oh creator, that's like... That almost broke my heart, especially hearing how he died. Yeah, it's just terrible. Ooh, spiders. Is that the only one? Huh, I think that was the only one. 
Oh, this way, I think. Yeah, okay, here we go. Because you're going to need this. And this is what I want to use. A staff. Instead of a bow. Completely covered the tunnel. Maybe you can use that staff to burn a path through. Nope, didn't work. Let's find another way around. Oh, stop. <laughs> Not more spiders. Burn them. Burn them. I'll burn whatever I want. Wherever I want. Because I am the torch master. A few cool moves with using the staves, too. And cool looking staves in this also. But, you know, beginning of the game and all, it's really all you can use right now. spiders originally it's I, mean, I know my main character was uh, a while ago it couldn't be that long hmm. oh, maybe it was maybe it wasn't maybe I'm crazy who knows <laughs> oh, okay that was it for the spiders good Uh, the hoy. Oh, wait. Wait! Hold on. I just remembered something here. Make a separate save. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll try. If not, good stopping point for this video. Let's see if it works. This is where we park away. Whatever you want from this armory, we might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get to shoes. We can hold off the Tawafa here. Oh my! <laughs> Five percent. That's a uh, whoo. That's gonna be very slim. I I'll be surprised if I even make that. So, so the other thing in this game is there are also persuasion checks from time to time, which is where which is where persuasion comes in. Very good use for things like this, because you can get extra money, extra dialogue options, or a unique, a unique item or two from time to time. In this case, if you succeed, you can get more potions. It's where, like, the Almains, for instance, would benefit, among other things. And hopefully, me too, maybe? Nothing more I can do nope. <laughs> I'll see you on the outside. I'll see you on the outside. If fate wills it. Alright guys, this is where I'm going to stop for this part one of my video. I don't know how long it's been going. And I need to get into a habit of uh, setting the timer for all this. So thank you all for watching my official part one on this video. For Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. I'm going to hopefully get the other video uploaded seems to be a problem with that on my end so I'm gonna see if I can rectify it I really hope I do otherwise this has been a real big waste let's hope it doesn't come down to that though so thank you all for watching please feel free to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the content if you have any questions comments or concerns whatsoever please feel free to leave them in the comment section below I'll get back to them as soon as possible and if there is anything you'd like to know about this game in general specifically or anything else also let me know in the comments but until until next time guys time guys. Happy Thanksgiving once again to those of you who celebrate. Enjoy yourselves. And take care.